let me tell a story because my art comes from me being a little child and not being able to speak. I had a very bad speech impediment and I couldn't, I couldn't talk to anybody. The, the sounds wouldn't come out right. My need for communication was intense. <laughs> and so when my mother was making pottery, I would take the clay and I started making these figures that were basically me trying to show how I felt. And then I would show the little figurine to my mother and that's how she would know how I felt because I couldn't explain it in words to her. So I found out really early I could communicate things through sculpting. So it wasn't like I'm making art, I'm going to make a drawing, or I'm, it's, it was pure communication. I love my clay that I buy from a box and it saves me a lot of time processing it. I think it's important to experience digging clay and mixing your own clay and I grew up doing that because my mother used to dig her own clay. I've dug a lot of clay and mixed a lot of clay. I'm glad because I can find clay, I can mix clay, I can get it so that it'll work. But um, at this point I'm not so concerned with going, oh my clay was traditionally dug and da 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 because um, to me clay, no matter where it, it's from, it's from the earth. And so clay is all special. I like to make a mask alongside a figure because while I'm waiting for the figure to harden enough to continue working on it, I can work on a mask the same time. What I do is form out the main shape of the mask and then uh, let it start to dry and as it starts to dry it'll become easier to work with. Just knowing how to work with the clay as it's drying is the trick to making anything <laughs> out of clay, I think. When I was